This is Arx Fatalis. Start out trying to find the highest luminosity value. 221. That's almost at the max. Lowest we got is 13. Almost at the max again. So let's compare some of these values on this ice on the ground here. So we know that's at about 220 something. No, that particular one's at 195. And it's against a value of 98. 149. 146. 190. 61. There's a bit of dirt or rock. Got a value of 104. Value of 206. Value of 177, where there's a bit of rock there toward the edge. The edge of the ice and rock. Got a value of 148. 104, 184, 123, 108, 182, look at the values on these rocks over here. Four, sixty-three, fifty-nine, ninety-six. 96, so look at this sword and you know, these few bones that are on the ground next to this sword. So on the sword, we've got a value of 58. And upon the skull where it's shaded, we've got a value of 27. And then where it's not shaded, we've got a value of 88. Let's look at some of these values on this wall rock over here. Got a value of 84. Fifty, seventy-four, eighty-four, one of one, one of seven. Upon this rock, we've got a value of forty-five. 84, 88, found this patch of rock on the ground over here, we've got a value of 150, value of 157, 115, 48, 109, 138, 148, and upon the UI, we've got values of 68, 224 on these, this UI element. This is the yeah, enemy health indicator. Got a value of 99. And 191. On this UI element, we've got values of 88.
38, 96, 44, and 198. Upon this sword, we've got a value of 18, 119, 51, 58, 77, 80, 23, 72, 137, 17, 201, 116, 37, 146. This is also Arx Fatalis. Looks like the highest value is 180 so far. Yeah, this is a pretty dark room, so 180 is probably the highest luminosity value we're going to find. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely looking like 180 is as high as it's going to get. So let's try to find the low. Four. Yeah, that's four away from the maximum low value. So there we go. Let's look at the contrast just on this little platform right here. Got a value of 71. Contrasting a value of 51. It's also contrasting against a value of 36. And against a value of 11. Also got a value of 56 on this platform. 57, 41, 50, let's look at this little, uh, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this is supposed to be, whatever this is, let's take a look at, it. got a value of 3, against a value of 6, Against a value of 22, 15, 17, 42. Let's look at these stairs. On these stairs, we've got a value of 94. 40, 58, 72. On this over here, it's a little bit of ornamentation on the floor. We've got a value of 44. 100, 23, 44, 
94, 51. Let's look at this. Snake Woman. We've got values of 28. We've got values of 31, 62, 63, 28, 75, 24, 61, 56, 89, 22, 35, 53, 15, let's look at this altar, you've got values of 18, 7, 10, ceiling. Got a value of 19. Value of 11. Value of 38. Value of 22. It's like the snake woman in the background. Got a value of 92, 60, 28, 97, 95, 50, And 105. It's like the snake statue in the background. Got a value of 24. 46. 8. 28. And finally, we'll take a look at these walls. Got a value of 8. And value of 12. So yeah, pretty much this whole wall is in the tens, low tens. Actually, let's take a look at this floor right here, too. So we've got a value of 90. Value of 16. Value of 81. Value of 34. 56. Let's take a look at this over here. On this wall, value of 11. On this wall over there, value of 42. Value of 32. 29. 57.
I guess we'll take a look at the UI element real quick to the mini map. Got a value of 97 against a value of 56. This is the original Baldur's Gate. Looks like this will be the highest luminosity value, 208. Yep. So let's try to find the lowest. Yeah, three, that's definitely it. Now let's compare some of the values among these plants. Got a value of 221 against a value of 9 against a value of 32 18 44 52 144 on the other side, 48, 8, on this row of flowers we've got values of 115, 49, 48, 147, 136, 1, 1. Let's take a look at the character models. Yeah, that is 78. Well, character sprites are not. You know, I'm not sure if these are fully 3D models or not. Or if they're sprites. I don't know how they did these. I'm pretty sure they're sprites, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, so we got a value of 61 against a value of 91. Also got a value of 8. Value of 167 for the skin. Value of 111 for the hair. For the staff, we've got a value of 128. Yeah, we've got a value of 128 against a value of 96. Character, model, sprite, however you want to refer to it. For MON, we've got values of 16, 52, 116, and 189 for the shoes. Also got a value of 165 on the chest where there's a bit of a reflection. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. On the character portrait, which is a bit darker than it typically is because I'm in the uh, dialogue menu right here. So it's, the values are a bit darker than they typically are. We've got values of 82. That's a three if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Eighteen. Eighty-three. Nineteen. Let's take a look at the dialogue UI. We've got values of 168 directly next to 71, 59, 128, 
on the text we've got values of 81 181 and 88 In the background of the UI, for the dialog, we've got values of 8, 26, 2, 18, 30, Thirty nine, fifty five, and four. Take a quick look at the ground and this water fountain. We'll take a look at these stones over here, too. So the bricks on the ground, we've got values of seventy six. 18, 91, 82, 70, 61, 45, 90, 65. Let's take a look at the fountain. We've got a value of 74 where the water is shaded. Over here where the water is shaded, we've got a value of 80. Where the water is exposed to the sunlight in full, we've got a value of 95. Over there, we've got a value of 105. The water spraying out of the top of the fountain has a value of 200. The water sitting in the top of the fountain has a value of 121. The bottom of the fountain, we've got a value of 112. The stone of the fountain itself has a value of 149. And 111. These stones over here, which if I'm not mistaken, these are a wall. We've got values of 29. 57, 56, 73, 15, 30, 37, 70 again. Let's take a look at the cursor, the pointer for the game. We've got a value of 102 against a value of 122 against a value of 65 and 162. Also got a value of 46 on there. And we've got a value of 96. This is this little, uh, pretty sure it's a, uh, it's like a, uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, I can't remember the name of that tool. I actually have one outside, but I can't recall what it's called. A sundial. Yes, it's like a sundial. It's the time tracker for the game. It's obviously normally a bit lighter, but it's uh, darker because I'm in the dialog menu in this screenshot. But the values on it, and, you know, keep in mind that's you know, darker than it should be. We've got a 32. A 37. 
a 44. Sixty-two, thirty-six, and sixteen. Also got a one ten and a seven. This is Planescape Torment. Sure if I'd be lightest value, 209. It's probably going to be this text on the UI, actually. It's the lightest value. Yeah, 229. Two nineteen. Let's try to find the darkest. They're going to be the edge of this carpet. Value of 11. Could be the shadow over here. Value of 1. Alright, well, let's compare the values in the background. We've got a value of 8 against a value of 35 against a value of 50. Those three values I just listed off are also contrasting against a value of 91 and a value of 49. This bench has values of 135, 141, 63, 27, 8, 125, 72, and 79. This, whatever this is. It's values of 127, 0, and 187. Let's see, on the wall we've got values of 83, 15, 71, Eighty-eight, sixty-seven, twelve, twenty-eight, thirty-two, twelve, sixty-three. 34, 21, 11, 20, 70, 14, 26, and so on. Let's look at the floor. We've got values of 43, 21, 61, 58, 110, 
86, 96, 86, 75, 17, 60, This area around this carpet values of 100, 79, 71, 16, 28, 57. 52, 53, it's like this painting on this wall, or is that an aquarium, whatever it is. We've got values of 33, 81, 32, 171, 112, 59, 67, 97, 128, 6, 2, 117, 80, 13, 57, 1, 23. Let's take a look at this bench right here. We've got values of 0, 93, 40, 35, 93, 114. And we'll finish off just by looking at one character model and we'll look at this furniture. So let's take a look at Falls from Grace, one of the more colorful character models, sprites, whatever you want to refer to it as. 202 against 63. We've got 202 against 211. 165 and 120. For the wings, we've got values of 128 and 109. We've got 67 and 171 against 131. On this chair, we've got values of 4, 34, 8, 113, 89, 24, 103, 
146. On this desk, we've got values of 107, 84, 5, 27, 71, 36, 33, 5, and 27. On the UI, we've got values, you know, it's a dialog UI. We've got values of 134, 80, 2, 105, 37, 35, 42, 70, 77. And those are all just right there. This little part of the UI, we've got 31. Against 4. Against 70. For the pointer, we've got values of 240. against 154. For the text, we've got values of 125, 168, 228. and 222. For the slow part of the UI, the page up and down section, we've got values of 104, 25, 125, and 0. Baldur's Gate 3. This time we're going to try to find the darkest value first because I'm not even sure where the lightest value would be. That's probably going to take some time to find. So we're going to try to find the darkest value first. Twenty-three. Thirty-nine. 20. Yeah, that 23 is probably the darkest. 20, yeah. 119. 198. 207. Yeah, I'm thinking that 207 is probably going to be as high as it gets. Might be like a 220 somewhere. Yeah, two two eighteen. So yeah, that's probably about as high as it gets. So first, let's compare the luminosity values and stuff in the distant background. Let's see, we've got a one eighty eight against a one seventy nine. 
181. Let's look at these buildings in the background. 127. Against 105. Against 164. 154. 116. 93 108 let's take a look at this roof right here we've got values of 115 against 77 93 Seventy-five, seventy-four, One ninety five eighty. Let's take a look at these stones over here. Forty nine seventy one. Let's take a look at this roof over here. Fifty eight forty six. 89, 40, 108. Let's take a look at these, uh, not sure what these were called, actually. These uh, cloth, I guess you could call them a roof, these cloth you know, coverings that, uh, well, are still pretty common. In some places today, got 60, 48, 63, 57. Over on this building facade, we've got values of 115. 91, 85, 40, 32, 30, 38, 62, 45, 77, 101, let's see, let's look at the, let's look at this barrel first, got 59, 139, 56, and 40. Let's take a look at the sidewalk. 183, 183. against 135. 112, 166, 168, this shadow has a value of 77, the grass has a value of 88, the shaded grass has a value of 29, 
This lamp post has a value of 43. This uh, lamp right here has a value of 178. And it's contrasting against a value of 41. The ground over here, value of 178. 103. Eighty-eight, one hundred eleven, one sixty-seven, one fifty-seven, ninety-four. Where it's shaded, we've got values of 39 and 74. Over here on the ground, we've got values of 122 and 161. On this person's outfit, he's in the shade, so the values will be a little bit darker. We've got values of 36, 37, 46, 66. Upon his sword scabbard, we've got... Oh no, that's not a sword, that's my bad, that's a club. On the wood part of the club, we've got uh, values of 93. You know, the striking part of it. Of course, the whole thing's probably wood. But upon the green handle, we've got a value of 69. And upon the little metal studs that are on the club, we've got a value of... Fifty-seven. On his armor, we've got a value of one hundred three. On his tunic, sixty-five. I think that's actually a gambus and hard to tell, kind of a blurry picture. Shoulder pad, we've got a value of sixty-seven. Skin of his neck, value 76. On his hair, 35. And 42. On this plant, we've got a value of 23. On the pot in which it sits, we've got a value of 69. For the soil, we've got a value of 22. Upon this woman's skin, we've got a value of 84. Upon her cowl, we've got a value of 34. 33 on... I believe that's a scarf. Or... Now, whatever you would call that loose garment on her torso. I think that's connected to her shirt. Whatever. I'm not that familiar with medieval clothes and all the terminology. Anyway, got a value of 59 on her torso garment. Value of 40 for her pants. And a value of 25 for her boots. This person, value of 61. Contrasting against a value of 55 and a value of 42. Of course, all these people are kind of in shades, so they're not exactly the best for, uh, you know, showing contrast. That'll mess with the results a little bit, the fact that they're almost all in, you know, 
dark shade. Let's take a look at this here. 135 against a value of 26. Got a value of 95 against a value of 39. Got a value of 34 against a value of 40. Value of 47 against a value of 63. Eighty against 77 and that 80 is also next to a value of 147 29 against 66 on these boots we have a value of 27 against a value of 58 on the sword, we've got a value of 48 against a value of 121. Value of 116 against a value of 68. And then we've got 152 against 26. And 108. On this tree, we've got a value of 28 for the shade against a value of 76. For these flowers, where there's not any shade, we've got a value of 183. Where these flowers are shaded, we've got a value of 100. Green part of these plants, we've got a value of 114, where there is no shade. Where there is shade, value of 34. On this roof, we've got a value of 56. Also got a value of 185, 89, 105, On this shadow on the ground over here, we've got a value of 80 against a value of 156. Some of the stones on this fountain, value of 161, where there's some shade, value of 48. Those are all the real sharp contrasts that I can see. Not really seeing anything else noteworthy. Maybe this target in the background, this archery target. In the center of this archery target, we've got a value of 40. Where it's red, we've got a value of 48. Where it's blue, we've got a value of... I'll have to zoom in more, I think I accidentally... That can't be. Where it's red, we've got a value of 38. The dead center has a value 42. Where it's blue, we've got a value 44. Where it's dark blue, we've got a value 40. And the gold outer layer, as if you're about to completely miss the target, we've got a value of 55. So. We'll take a look at this fabric. Got values of 111, 
76, and 40. This is also Baldur's Gate 3. Should be easy to find high value on this, 240. It's as high as it possibly can be, but low, zero. There we go. So the high is as high as it can be, and the low is as low as it can be. So we've got the minimum and maximum luminosity values represented here. Well, we can't really see anything in the background. Yeah, everything in the background's kind of blurred with uh, the effect from this explosion, but let's take a look anyway. 178, 187, 233, 184, 166, 157, 189. Yeah, let's take a look at the UI first. So we've got values of 77, 88. 140, 89, 168, 240, 20, 76, 48, 0, 88, 58, 58 and 2 on the character portraits on the UI. Let's take a look at this gauntlet on the UI. Got value of 159 against a value of 49, 178, 51, 171. Let's take a look at this little sword icon on the UI. Got a value of 110. Against a value of 202. And 72. Let's take a look at this sword icon on the UI. 43. against 130 with a background of 58. Take a look at the end turn button. Background is 21. The white text is 238. Where the color is a little bit lighter, it's 94. The outer ring is 134. It's a dark value of 94.
Then we'll take a look at uh, what I presume is the retreat button. Got a value of 12. Contrasting a value of 96. And 107. So in this explosion, we've got values of 69 against a value of 107. Obviously, we've got 240 in a few places. Pretty sure every single one of these is at like 240. We're very close. Yep. So then we've got 152, 150, where there's a null getting burned, we've got a value of 122, 133, 158, the edge of that sword that's barely visible, the value of 98. This rock that's obscured by shadow, value 44, 37, 20. Where there is no shadow, we've got values of 132, 168, 160. 94, where there's a little bit of shadow. On the stone on the ground, we've got values of 182. Where there's a little bit of debris, we've got 135. Back to stone, we've got 187. 98. 187. 204, 176, where there's some dirt, a value of 94, where there's some shadow under a wood board, value of 64, the wood board itself has a value of 153, and there's a little bit of debris on the ground, pretty sure those are leaves. We've got a value of 144, 106, 126, 105, 52, 159, 142, 147, and 165. These wooden boards, we've got values of 133, 154, 157, where there's some shadow. 39, these shaded plants, 19, where the plants are in sunlight, value of 65, let's take a look at the mini map, we've got a value of 97, against a value of 87, And 120. We've got a value of 64 against a value of 71. We've got a value of 97 against 117. 
We've got a value of 207 against a value of 158. We've got 127 against 78. 67 again against 137. 65 against 56. And on the character, the main character's model, we've got a value of 161 for the boot, where it's in sunlight. A value of 73 for the shade. For his robe, we've got a value of 130 in sunlight. 52 in shade. For his gauntlet, or actually those are bracers, my mistake. For his bracers, we've got a value of 124. For his skin, we've got a value of 177. Got a value of 111 for the sleeve of his robe. Where there's a little design. For the collar of his robe, we've got a value of 72. Contrasting against his hair with a value of 63. His hair in the shade has a value of 32. His hair in more sunlight has a value of 114. Value of 200 for the metal part of this staff. A value of 142 for the shaft of this staff. A value of 25 for the shaded part of this staff. Value of 189 for a little piece of metal on the staff. One of the six, once again on the staff. And a value of 139. The darker part of this foliage has a value of 52. Where it's in sunlight, we've got a value of 102 and 113. Upper part of this tree that's in sunlight has a value of 145. Where it's in the shade, it's got a value of 100. This UI element all the way over here, we've got a value of 8 against a value of 213 and a value of 130. And here we are looking at Morrowind. So the lightest value is probably one of these little white lights, value of 221. And 71. Two thirty nine. Try to find the darkest. Nine. So, first we'll compare the values on these trees in the background. We've got a value of 31 against a value of 13. On the ground in the background, we've got a value of 64 against a value of 25. On the ground 
near the camera, near the main character, we've got a value of 27. Against a value of 15. Seven. Nine. 40, 33, 44, 26, 26. So let's take a look at this tree. On this tree, we've got values of 61, 10, 27, 50, 65, 64, 21. Let's take a look at the main character. 75. 48. And yes, I am counting this as uh, magic effect. Even though, yes, I know the ground is influencing the color of it. But uh, we've got values of 26, where it's a bit darker. 15. 24. 24. for the attire of the main character. We've got values of 84 upon the gauntlet 10 22 110 upon his robe we've got values of 82 171 82 again, 75, 109, 23, 22, 65, 18, 68, 95, 33, 87, 68, 49, 56, Upon his helmet, we've got values of 33, 112, 5, 27, 111. Upon his pauldrons, we've got values of 12. 107, 38, 41, 92, and 104. Upon the shield, we've got values of 111. 148, 73, 75, 133, 63, 80, 82, 
and 103. On the ground over here, we've got values of 8, 17, 34, 28, 42, and upon this bear, we've got values of 22, 39, 58, 34, 37, 43, 84, and 57. Upon the UI, we've got values of 51 against 73, 74 against 69, 104, 60, 119 against 56. 73 against 28 and 33 against 175 and 21. We've got 111 against 3, and over here we've got 187 against 53, we've got 9, against 223, We've got 120 against 19, and we've got 10 against 149. On the map marker, we've got 167 and 96 against 43 and 12 with an outline value of 56.